Hey hello friends, this is Manohar Gupta back with another video and this time we are with the new OS which is the new Cyanogen OS known as the Line Edge OS. So let's quickly go to the ROM. So as you can see the Android version is 7.1.1 .1, which is the latest OS. We are currently on the 8th Jan build. So the security patch has been updated to 5th Jan. Now here you can see that this ROM is an unofficial build and comes with a custom kernel which is Nagata. I really am very bad at pronouncing this one. So this is the generic thing about this custom ROM. Now we have OTA feature added to this ROM. You can check for updates here. So let's quickly go to the customization this ROM offers. Firstly we have all the basic settings and here we have the button customization. You can enable the navigation bar and customize what buttons perform what. Like you can customize the recent button, home button, power button, etc. Further we have these settings for the status bar, developer options, system profiles and all the things that we had on Cyanogen mod. So here you can see the HD sign is there so we have the Volt E working. So here you can see the Volt E is working and Geo is working perfectly there are no issues whatsoever. Now coming to the camera performance the camera is good enough there are those FC but they are reduced a lot so we can say it is almost stable but still there are few FCs that we faced that needs to be improved now let's quickly go to the battery performance of this custom ROM here you can see there is a prox 16 hours left I don't know how they calculate this thing but the standby time the battery standby is really good here you can see this one we have almost used Wi-Fi gameplay a bit browsing all the time 4G all the time and there were few network drops also so we can say that the battery backup is quite good the screen on time till 44 percent is 3 hours 7 hours 3 hours 7 minutes which is quite good according to me the phone idle was 19 hours 51 minutes now and these are the few apps that I used so let's quickly go to the memory consumption of this ROM Here you can see the memory consumption was 2.2 gigs which is very bad I would say. Now for one day performance the consumption was 2 GBs but I would say according to my usage it is okay because I have few heavy apps like messenger, facebook and I tried a few gameplays for asphalt 8. So the memory consumption is justified in that. Further coming to the fingerprint sensor and the fingerprint sensor is also working fine. Here you can see it is pretty quick. Now coming to the performance of this custom ROM. Android benchmarking gave me a benchmarking score of about 84,200 on normal settings and it even crossed 90k on performance for few friends of mine so the custom kernel that we are using in this custom room is really high in performance but with performance there comes a bit of problems yeah we faced a few lags while playing asphalt 8 on high mode on advanced mode i would say but there were 
no other problems with our small games like mini militia subway surfer and temple run etc though there are a few lags but still the performance of this room is really good i would say and further coming to the heating problem there are a few heating issues that we faced on this custom room while playing heavy games like asphalt 8 nfs and in normal browsing too so subscription theme engine is added but it is not working as of now and i guess the developer will be removing that commit from the room and we will not have this oms or what we call as substratum theme engine on this custom room so the theming on this room is quite difficult so you cannot theme this room entirely on your own we have to wait for the new theme engine that is yet to come so let's quickly go to a small gameplay We are running this game on high performance mode and while playing this room we didn't face any lags whatsoever but there is a few heating issues when we use gaming for more than few uh, few minutes uh, when we so there are a few issues while gameplay a few heating issues you can see there are no frame drops while playing any of these games again i would say the performance of this room is good but still heating issues are yet to be cared for and i hope they will be solved very quickly because the developer seems really active on this room we are getting updates every two days or so so the gaming performance is also good let's directly come to the verdict you should go for this room or not according to me for my usage this room is delivering and I didn't face any lags using all those apps that I need but still there are a few lags that we faced during gameplay after one or two games completed but yeah I don't know why but there were a few lags and with lags there were he there was a bit of heat that we can face on the front panel and on the back at the same area so that's a few issues that we faced so what's the alternative to this room i would say the best custom room best no good based custom room yet for redmi note 3 will be resurrection remix because it is being updated the official build is being updated it has the theme engine support it has the theme engine support and is using the same custom kernel for performance but what is more is what more that this but what more that custom room provides is the features that are present on that custom room there are tons of features that are present in resurrection remix i will link a video down below you can check that for the custom room review of resurrection remix but the both the room supports HD, which is V O L T E E, Volte, and we can use Geo on almost both the rooms. So, not much of a difference, but yet this is the new lineage, lineage OS, whatsoever you want to call it. So, that's my verdict. If I have to go for a custom room, 
based on no cut i would definitely go for resurrection premix this is also a good alternative for those who don't need all those features that are present on that custom rom you can check the video review of both the roms this one is here so this review is almost done we had seen the memory consumption is on the higher side the battery usage is okay and we didn't see any problems both the rooms have the camera issues and the frequency of the issue coming back is almost the same because they are dependent on the same same sources so why not go with the room that provides additional features and other things are same yeah that's my point of view but if you know don't need all those features that are present on that custom room then why to go for extra features and bolt your phone so this depends upon your usage and you are the one who have to decide whether to go for which custom room so for those guys who want stability miui is always there for you so that's all from this review i would say definitely this room has the potential to tackle has the potential but a few issues still exist like the theme engine flashlight bug camera fcs and heating issues lags and a few more and i definitely think that this room will improve with time and will be stable so that's all from this review again i would so that's all from this review guys i will see you in the next one till then do see our other videos do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more further videos and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you liked it thank you for watching this video again we will see you in the next one bye bye